Hi folks, this is David from over at Simply Maya and I want to answer a question that comes up quite a lot which is cutting holes through solid geometry. Now I'm going to start off with a cube here just because it's a nice simple shape but this technique will really work with any geometry that you have. You really just need an internet intersecting vertex. So I'm going to add a few more subdivisions to this. I'm then going to chamfer the vertex which will give us this arrangement. I'm then going to select the face in the middle and get rid of it because it's no longer necessary. I'm going to select the four vertex points the chamfer gave us and I'm going to circularize these with one division. This will give us equidistantly spaced vertices from each other and allow us to cut that perfectly round hole. So I'm going to go into face mode now and remove all of the faces I don't need because I don't want to model more than I have to. So as this model is symmetrical in quarters, we only need to actually work on one quarter of it. So if I come in with the multi-cut tool, I'm going to hold shift to snap that into place just so I can get a slightly more neat and tidy edge. And I'm adding an edge here for smoothing purposes. Now you'll see me cut the geometry here. Um, to remove any engons that are left on the model, which is a polygon with more than four sides, which you definitely don't want. And as I um, am doing this uh, tutorial right now, I've done a much longer form version of it on my website, Simply Maya. If you need more of an explanation, and perhaps if you're a bit newer to Maya, of why I'm doing things in the way I'm doing them. So I'm going to add some extra edges here now for smoothing purposes. This will allow the model to be smooth, uh, either smooth preview or smooth at render time, uh, while giving us the correct topology to allow us to make this model more complicated in the future. So I'm just going to come over now and I'm going to mirror this in X, Y and Z with cut geometry off and a small merge distance. Um, this is just to allow us to get the model back without having to model the rest of it. So this operation should take a few seconds, just as I say, just X, Y, and Z, and you'll get that full model back. Do uh, be prepared to set your merge distance small, otherwise vertices you don't want merged together will merge together. So now all I need to do is bridge the gap between the two sides, but I'm going to select these edges here and these ones back here, and just hit bridge and that will give us a bridge through the middle. I can then come in and add more edges to control the smoothing here. And that's it, we're basically done with this one. I'll hit the smooth preview for you so you can see. And obviously we could move the vertex now uh, around to make the hole bigger or smaller. So this technique will work with anything. Uh, you can see I've got a perfectly smooth model here. It doesn't collapse in on itself. It holds its edge flow. We've got nice topology. If you do need more, uh, a bit more of an explanation, um, head on over to simplymaya.com under the free tutorial section. You will find a long form version of this where I explain exactly why I put the edges where I put them and how that pertains to creating good topology. So thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.